Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my duelist. I'm gonna play a different faction, or does it say somewhere here? Uh, curious. No. Fa I think it's faction. <laughs> I'm not really sure. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna play as the Lion R. It's been a long time since I played as the Lion R, and I think the Lion R is pretty fun. I think it might even be my second favorite. So, um, I think it's surprising that I've. It's been so long. It's been like six episodes since I've played as. Whoa, Lion R. Vitruvian. Kneedle Kukji. All right. Well, I don't really know how this deck functions. I completely forgot. Uh, what I was going with it. Nope. I actually remember completely now. This deck is structured around um, really high health minions and spells like Divine Bomb, Bond, Divine Bomb, Divine Bond, which is give a minion plus attack equal to its health, which is a really strong card, I think, for uh, for three mana. It seems it seems good to me, so that's why I tried it. But like next turn, we will be able to pop down our putrid dread flare. And, uh, we could give them the Divine Bond the next turn for a guaranteed six damage to his face. Or we could do something else. We could pop down here and, uh, ooh, you know, this that's what I want to do. I'm going to jump up here. Assuming he plays, <laughs> I'm going to jump up here, drop down my Silver Guard Knight. Because he has a 1-5 with Provoke. He'd be a 3-5 if I stay near him. Hopefully he doesn't have a minion, but I assume he does. Eh? Yeah, he's got one. Uh, Repulsor Beast is... I don't know, I guess it's kind of a silly... First... I don't know. It seems like kind of a silly first play, but... Uh, whatever. To each their own. Um, the question is if I want to put my silver guard knight down here and then hopefully it will survive a turn so I can divine bond that would make it a pretty nasty minion but also we should get rid of this yeah, we kinda, <laughs> we've been getting go away whistling blade so many uh, I, I'm kind of at a loss for what the best play is here uh, I wish there was a- I wish I'd- ah, if he didn't do the plus one plus one, we would be in a much better position. I think... I think we just go down here and place it- oh. I'm actually gonna put it right here. And save my mana for next turn, cause he won't be able to put something on there unless he really like breaks his back. This mana thing should still be here, and it'll allow us to play with five mana next turn, which could be useful if I reroll my Whistling Blade into something else. Otherwise, uh, I don't know. I really, really, really hope he doesn't attack. Actually, you know, it's not that big of a deal. If he attacks, he attacks. He probably won't kill his Repulsor Beast for the two damage, but he might. Oh, he's gonna drop a minion. Oh! Alright. Nope, that's it. Yep, that's smart. Alright. We have five mana. I'm gonna toss that away. Do we do the Bright Moss Golem? I think so. I think we go here. We do the trade. And... We just really hope. What is it? destroy any minion, restore that minion's health to its general. Uh, maybe I'll do that. But um, anyways, if we can get the divine bond onto our bright moss golem, that'll be a 13 damage minion, a 13, 13 damage, nine health minion. On turn five, which is nasty. Really, really hoping. He attacks my face. Okay. Okay. I'm fine with everything so far. 
All right, is there any way we can uh, win this turn? I don't think so. Uh, I'm gonna move both of our guys right down here. This is a no-brainer. 13 damage to the face. The question is, what do I do now? I think we throw something back. And I think it's this. Ooh. All right. I mean, I think we win, but he, I have no clue what kind of answers he has. Uh, he could have this card right here. He could have mar Martyrdom. Lower minions attack till zero. Well, you know, that is good for you. You are totally set. Your general gains two attack. Yeah, he'll be able to wipe it out. Good. <laughs> good for him. <laughs> what else should I... What kind of answer do I have here? I think my answer is a flying minion. No. Dang. I, he's got me on the ropes now. Definitely does. I think... Oh, that was a bad call. That was a bad call. Might have lost off that, because he's got eight, nine damage. He's got nine damage. He just needs three damage somewhere. And he's Vitruvian. I think he can find three damage. So I, I'm, I'm chalking this one up to a loss at the moment. Oh no, come on! Yep, 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 yep. This does not look good at all. Deal two damage to- I do have true strike, that's something. Oh no. God, just barely not enough damage to take me down right or am I missing something okay you know what you know what we destroy our own minion give ourselves 10 health if True Strike worked on this guy, we would have been set. But since it doesn't... Oi. I think we... can't decide if we put down our flying minion and, like, naively hope it doesn't die. Oh, hey. I am, I'm, this is... Oh, I should not have done that. I should not have done that. I should. Oh, I should not have done that. I think I. If I didn't do that, I might have won. Now I'm really not so sure. Oh, interesting. I bet you he did not expect that. He debilitated it, which put it down to zero attack, but since it has zeal. Oh, yeah, he was not expecting that, but I'm, I'm dead. I'm so dead. 
But you know what the good news is? I would have been fine. Or I mean, I would have died even if I didn't make that mistake. So that makes me feel a little bit better. I'm so, I'm so disappointed. I thought that that spell, I thought that I figured out magic. Oh. Versus if that spell could deal two damage to generals, I would have won the game off that, but network error. I would have won the game off that, and I would have been absolutely shocked in a very good way. Network error. Come on, sort yourself out. There, oh, okay. Oh, I'm gonna toss back my dragon bone golem. It seems stupid to hold on to it. Hmm. Hmm. True strike. If, if only. I think I might as well true strike this, get it out of the way. I think I'll keep wa Mind Warper, Wind Warper, Mind Warper to play on curve next turn. Excited to try out this Sunstone Templar. I don't know how, I don't know if it'll like really be that good, it's like as good as it sounds. Whenever it attacks, Whenever it attacks or counterattacks, dispel the enemy. So I believe that means, like, at the moment I decide to attack. You know, against I think we go up here. Give me a one mana spell. Nope. Whenever this damages an enemy minion, destroy that minion. That seems pretty good. And we might as well put this on since we have it. I could also... Can I replace this? I'm curious. Probably. I don't know if I want to. But it's kind of cool. It's... I guess I, I always was like... It is kind of random, the card you get. But you can always re return it, I, I suppose. Give him general or minion three attack this turn. Oh. I mean, at least I dispelled the thing that was going to go away at the end of the turn anyways. I don't know. Um. Is there, there's nowhere I can go to attack with both characters. So I think I'm going to go right here, right here. Pop with that. I'm gonna send this back, I guess. Two damage, two minions. That is not what I wanted. Hmm. -hmm. All right. I probably should have kept that. It. it probably would have been fairly helpful at least more helpful than the true strike would be right now uh, we're done right there's nothing that would be smart I could true strike would there be any benefit to true striking anything I have and then healing it no I don't think so all right it's on the run it's gonna take the mana spring possibly you know, you gotta be careful with the mana spring. Ooh, uh-oh. Oh! Okay, backstab four, so he's gonna deal six damage, I assume, to my face. Which I guess I don't care that much about, but if he wants... Like, I think it'd be probably maybe better to get my mind warper. But now he's gonna deal six damage. I do not blame him. I do not blame him once more. I understand what he's doing now. That is very solid. Uh, it hurts a lot. Sir. What is the best course of action here? I 
guess I go down here. Will I get backstabbed if I attack it? I don't know. I'm gonna replace one of these. I don't need it. Give all friendly minions plus one plus one. That actually changes a lot of stuff. I'm gonna go for that. Deal two damage. Attack here. Move through this. And place down a provoke. That changes a lot. That changes a whole bunch. And uh, suddenly the tempo is very much in my favor. It definitely could change at any minute, but... Spell, like... Heck, dispelling my taunt, my provoke, is a pretty big, you know, pretty big effect already. And just putting down a minion in this, in my way here. Hmm. Give him minion plus one plus one and teleport anywhere. Oh, he's gonna trap me in. I don't blame him. It's a pretty good idea. Is there a way to win this turn? I think so. I really should have done the math first, but I think I won. Uh, yep, that, that was good. <laughs> that worked out very well. Okay. It seemed kind of rough at first, but, uh, Argus. Defender of Argus. Tempest, deal three damage to all. Ooh. All minions. Including my own, I assume. Let's take a look. That could be something. Oh, also, I need Circle of Life in my deck, of course. Uh, I think I can get rid of one... One Bright Moss Golem. Deal three damage to all minions and generals. I don't know. I don't know that I need it. I'm tempted to... Wait, what's... This minion may activate twice per turn. That seems pretty nice. Tempted to put in the Squire... I think I'm gonna pass. You know, I'm gonna, because the last episode was a little bit cut short, I'm gonna make this one a little bit extra long. That's all right, we'll just throw in a third one here. We're going against Pot. All right, that's a pretty good starting hand, I say. Especially for this side, we can Jump up there, and... Maybe we should get rid of War Search, though. Maybe we should have done that. I just looked at the mana curve and was happy with it. But this is definitely, obviously, I guess, a spell that you want to save for later on. I'm going to throw it in. Didn't really get anything that special. But that's okay. Kind of just, we ate the mana spring so he can have it. Got the stun Sunstone Templar who didn't worked that well for us last time, but... Oh, with, with the rush. Does he have another one of those? Is he gonna buff it up? That'd be pretty nasty. No. Okay, then in that case, it was kind of weird. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna move myself here. This up here. It's gonna be on low health, but that's okay. Maybe I should, um... I'm going to attack. Let's throw this back. Ooh. I already have a Provoke down. Maybe I should... I'm gonna throw out the Mind Warper. Mind Warper with three health. I'll force him to do something. Two damage to the enemy minions. Enemy general and all enemy minions around them. Uh, that could be good. 
but I can, like I said last time, I can always just throw it back and it's basically draw, draw a card. Staff of Ykir. Ooh. Ooh. I should have, as soon as I had this in my, got this in my hand, I should have been like, oh darn. It's gonna be pretty sucky for me. I mean, and it is, it's kind of sucky. Wait, what turn are we on? I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna throw this back, actually. Cool, we need to get rid of some cards, so I'm glad we got something that's pretty cheap. Um, put down a provoke, go here, and put down my Templar. Yes, and I hope. Oh, the Templar stays alive. I should have put it back here, though, because the Truvian can kill it. Uh, but if I can attack with him next turn, we can get rid of the Staff of Ykir, possibly. Because that. Yeah. That's exactly. Oh! No, he's going for that, but that's okay. Uh, I mean, he'll attack my Sunstone Templar, but at least. That really, that should have gone away. The staff should have, should have gone away, but that's, uh, I'm not gonna make a fuss about it. Cause I could be, could be wrong. Okay, we have six mana, which I think we should pop on him, which gets rid of his armor, or his uh, artifact. Pop down another bubble. I'm going to keep my Dragon Bone Golem because we have a he'll be on curve next turn. Be really nice to just put him down and pack a wallop. We gotta provoke for us now. Um That's fine. Do we get rid of it? I think we get rid of it. Just because we don't know what he has in his hand, he could buff it up really nastily. If it would have killed my shield master, I wouldn't have done it. What's this? Give him a minion zeal. Okay. All right. I'm, of course, concerned that he might have an answer. But this is nat. Like, as long as I can get an attack, deal three damage to all I need. Found it. If he puts a minion right there, he's in good shape. Uh, I think he knows he's done. Oh, well, it was a quick one. <laughs> are we silver rank now? I think we are. Victory. Or did we get silver rank on the last one? No, oh, yeah, we did. Well, I'm glad that I'm already uh, back at silver rank for this season here. We're, oh, we're just shy. I wish I would have got that so I could do uh, an orb, but that's okay. Uh, next episode, probably. But that about does for this episode here. I greatly appreciate all the support you guys have been given to the Duelist series up to this point. It's making it very clear you want to see more. That's why I'm bringing it to you. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.